Tomatoes are a versatile crop that you can always have a few of. Please don't limit yourself to eating them on burgers or in salads like most people do. There's so much more you can do with tomatoes. The best part is to enjoy them out of season. The problem with tomatoes today is that everyone grows them simultaneously, leading to an excess that often goes to waste. Then when you want spaghetti in winter, you're left opening cans of tomatoes and sauce. There are a few things that could be improved with this standard approach. First, canned food is often stored in plastic lined containers and you must learn about manufacturing. Second, store-bought tomatoes, whether from greenhouses or imported, may be GMOs and you need to know what pesticides were used or how they were cleaned. Instead of planting bushes and flowers around your house, consider growing tomatoes. You'd be surprised. You can quickly grow 20 to 50 plants. They look like little flowers and can be attractive, especially if you plant different varieties. I typically plant between 10 and 20 species yearly, focusing on heirloom varieties. If you're not into canning, here's a simple preservation method. Wash and fill one gallon Ziploc bags with tomatoes, then freeze them. For more advanced preservation, use a tomato press to squeeze the tomatoes, cook them down, and can them using a pressure canner. Alternatively, use the old-fashioned method, boil tomatoes for three minutes, remove the skins, and can them in ball jars. Here's a unique way to use excess tomatoes and other vegetables. In a pot or pressure cooker, combine tomatoes, cucumbers, for extra water content and other excess vegetables. Add herbs like oregano, basil, sage, parsley, thyme, mint, and tarragon. Cook the mixture down for about an hour or pressure cook at 10 PSI for an hour. Strain the mixture twice, first with a large strainer, then a finer one. Season the liquid with salt, pepper, or other spices to taste. Use it as a soup base or drink it as is. For long-term storage, you can also pressure this broth at 10 PSI for 90 minutes. This tomato broth can be used in various ways. Use it to cook rice or pasta for added flavor, or drink it as a nutrient-rich, low-calorie meal replacement. You can also use your frozen tomatoes from the freezer throughout the winter months. By planning and preserving your tomato harvest, you'll avoid buying expensive out-of-season tomatoes in January. Replace ornamental bushes with tomato plants and make room in your freezer. Once you start doing this, you'll wonder why you haven't been doing it all along. Don't look for this in cooking and recipe books. It won't be there. This is No Rules Cooking with Marco. Thanks for watching the video. Please rate, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Check out the links to my books in the comment section below.